trap and roll concepts. The concept that you trap an arm and a leg on the same side and you bridge toward that side so the person never has a chance to post, they never have a chance to post. So the first thing, before your partner even mounts, just do yourself a service. Legs straight, elbows tucked in, hands protecting your neck. The first thing is my legs are straight, why? Because if I bend my legs at any point in time he wants to, he can put grapevines in and he can stretch me out. Now it's not the end of the world. I can untangle the grapevines and then start escaping the mount, but why do that if I don't have to? So that's why we keep the legs straight. Now how do you bump? Well, you bend your legs quickly, you bump your hip, you straighten them back out again. Why do I have my elbows closed tight to my ribs? Two reasons. If he climbs his knees up high into my armpits, you can see that it isolates my arms. The other thing is, my hip is no longer effective. So my hip isn't under his hip, so every time I bump, he goes nowhere. What we're gonna deal with today is when the person puts a cross face on you from this position and they start smashing you real low. So go ahead and do that. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that I'm still looking in the direction that I'm gonna trap his arm and I want to escape. So I'm gonna trap this arm he's got under my head. All right, so I need to make sure his cross face doesn't make me look in the opposite direction because it's gonna make my escape a hell of a lot harder. So if you have to, grab the person's shoulder, peel it off your neck a little bit, and then look toward that arm. That'll help you a lot. So now, I wanna start trapping this arm against the mat. I'm gonna use the back of my head and my neck to do that. So you'll see me press my heels into the mat, you'll see me arch, and then I'm sorta of gonna bring my chin to my chest, and I'm gonna flatten my neck against the mat, which helps pin his arm down to the mat. Now I can't keep his arm there forever, especially against somebody who's strong, they're gonna pull their arm out, but I'm gonna have a couple of seconds to work before the arm comes out. So in that time, I'm also gonna push and lock this leg. So if it's, if it's too high, I'll push and I'll lock so I can trap his foot. And I'm also already pressing my head down to the mat. This hand's gonna come up and I'm gonna grab the shoulder and I'm gonna to start to pull it down, closing my elbow to my ribs. Now the last thing you guys can't see is this hand on the opposite side here. I make a C grip and I'm gonna put my thumb inside the armpit so I can push him over as I go to do my mount escape. Now why wouldn't I just reach under the armpit? Because when I land in the closed guard, my arm is gonna be trapped against the mat. I don't want that. So instead, I'm gonna find the armpit. And now I can push and when I land, my arm won't be trapped so deep, okay? So I bend my second leg. Very important that this heel goes between his feet and never to the outside of the other foot. Again, because the grapevine opportunity is now presented to him if he wants it, okay? So I bend between the two feet. Now when I'm ready to go, I continue looking over that shoulder on the same side I have the arm trapped. I bridge my hips up hard toward the ceiling and then I roll over the shoulder from here to here. Now right away you'll see my knees came in tight. I'm already thinking about posturing up. His arm is around my head still, okay? I don't want that. So this arm is gonna swim inside. My hand's gonna go on my face. Now go ahead and lock it down tight. As much as he's gonna try to hold my head down, I just open my elbow and I take my head out of the pocket. So get the hand inside, crawl your fingers up your face, flare your elbow open, and then loop your head out. And once we get to this position, always practice good fundamentals here. Knees always open wide, I sit back on flat feet, my hands get off the mat, I'm gonna grab the belt or the lapels, and I'm gonna smash his hip down with closed elbows.